quote. If it's wrong to wreck the planet, it's definitely wrong to profit from that wreckage. Uh, the divestment campaign is based on the idea that it doesn't make sense to keep investing in corporations that are undermining our future. Um, I'm Jody, and I'm part of the University of Toronto's fossil fuel divestment campaign and part of the growing student divestment movement. Uh, we have now uh, fossil fuel divestment campaigns at over 300 schools across North America. We're growing fast, and we're learning fast, and we're winning. Our recent victories include uh, Syracuse University, the New School, University of Glasgow, Hampshire College. Uh, just a few days ago, Oxford University decided to rule out all future investments in coal and tar sands. <laughs> if we want to avoid uh, climate disaster, we need a drastic shift in economic and political power. Um, currently in their reserves, the fossil fuel industry has over five times the amount of carbon that we can afford to burn if we want to stay under two degrees warming, uh, which is the limit before we see catastrophic and irreversible climate change. And divestment is one way that we can challenge the power of the fossil fuel industry. Universities and other public institutions can shift billions of dollars away from fossil fuel extraction and exploration um, and shift that towards glowing, growing a clean and fair economy. And they can also make a really powerful statement about the kind of future that we should be building together for this world. So on July 5th, at the March for Jobs, Justice and the Climate, um, we as students are going to be marching for that new economy that respects our future. We're marching for an equal and a just economy that takes power away from socially irresponsible corporations and gives it back to the people. We're marching in solidarity with indigenous groups uh, to demand a system that honors their right to the land and also to clean air and water. We're marching for a safe climate for future generations and we're marching because there is no planet B. Uh, what we're demanding is for our universities to be places not only for academic growth and academic learning, um, but to also be places that represent the kind of ethically and morally just world that we need to live in. Woo!